Trevor here, TNT Overhaul. Uh, working on a 1997 Dodge Ram 1500 four-wheel drive. Uh, we already did a wheel bearing on it. Now we're going to do front brakes. I already did one side, obviously. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do pads and rotor. Um, things you're going to need on the front of this thing. Obviously your new rotors, your pads. I uh, got these from Advance Auto Parts. Brake clean uh, to get the film off the pads and also clean everything up. Or the film off the rotor, excuse me. Uh, definitely going to need your caliper lubricant. I never do a brake job without it. Now I'm using a 3 8 hex. That's for the caliper bolts. Uh, 3 8 hex or Allen, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, to press a piston in, I use a big uh, C-clamp. So let's get started. I got my gloves on. No glove, no love. Um, and I got some rags. So, uh, all right, let's do this. All right, so got my 19 millimeter half inch ready with my impact. Take your lug nuts off. I start with one of them. Skip. Looks like, of course, he's missing one. Uh, skip, 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 skip. Done. Pull the wheel off. So uh, let's get the wheel off and then we'll get to work on these, these brakes. All right, here we go. Hope it doesn't get too loud. He's going to have to buy himself some lug nuts. All right, set all these to the side. Unplug the air. All right, so looks like we're gonna need to sell him a ball joint job. Okay, so for now, you got your 3 8 hex or Allen. You got one on the top, one on the bottom. Crack those suckers loose. what I'm doing here. Okay. There's what it looks like. Got one there. And the other one is here. Okay, so crack those loose. Once you get so far and it's not grabbing threads, you wanna what I do is kind of tweak the socket a little bit in there. And sometimes you can kind of pull it back, but not yet. Okay. There you go. See how that one comes like all the way out. So that side, we're going to need to grease that a little bit. Knock it off, put it in here. There we go, we got that one. Rip my glove. <laughs> oh, that's not good. All right, let me put you back up. Okay, so we got the bolts out. Now we just kind of pull this off. So we got a caliper off here. You don't want to let it hang, you could damage the hose. What I do is put it up here. A lot of people, uh, we also have hooks, uh, bungee cords. Now the inside pad on these, it's got a spring that sits inside the piston. Let's pull it straight out. That is uh, not as bad as the other side. The other side is gone, but that's glazed over and pretty crappy. The front, you can manhandle it. Oh man, that one's all cracked up. Pretty easy. This one collapses. Now, first thing I do, is go ahead and get your seat clamp on here. There we go. Just going in. A little bit at a time. As soon as it looks like it stops moving, that's when I let it off. Grab it again. Usually when you're doing, like if you do a full brake job, you always want to Start furthest away from the master cylinder when bleeding, pressing, stuff like that. Man, look at this. These rotors trash too. It's so hot. Okay. Almost in there. Alright, we're in. So 
we'll leave that on there for a second. Since we're doing a rotor, move that, pull the whole rotor off, shed it aside. Bearing seems good. I should have checked that when I first lifted it up. There's not a lot of in and out play or anything. I was kind of looking at the up and down. I think it's good. Okay, so get your new rotor out of the box. Again, I got these at Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, walk in is like, I want to say 40 bucks each, roughly, for these. Now, the reason why you want brake clean for the rotor is from the factory. You can see it okay. See this nasty stuff? They put that on there to keep them from rusting, flash rusting, stuff like that. What I do, hit it on the front, on the back, take the drag real quick, ooh, without tearing it up, give her a good wiping. Otherwise, you hit the brakes, it's not very fun. Ah, it's getting windy. finally got it to push through. We could take it all the way out finally, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so let that be known. It's better to buy these than buy the hardware kit. It comes with the new seals in there and everything. Get it lubed up here. Jinx myself and say easy, but definitely a lot easier. Okay. I use the caliper bolts. I use the other side, the head. It's wide enough. Give me a thump. So get the other side. noise stuff like that okay and I like to do these anywhere it contacts the pad basically on this this would be these ears here all right and sometimes even a tiny bit across these because the, what happens is you hit the brakes it squeezes it really tight right if you let off the brakes and from vibration from floating caliper it'll kind of wiggle its way back and forth on those pins uh, and also on these surfaces, and that's what allows the piston to retract. So you want it nice and lubed up, otherwise you're going to have calipers, or calipers, you're going to have pads wearing uneven, you know, like the front will wear faster than the rear, and vice versa. You don't want that. Wait a minute. down goes with the curve of the rotor okay I like to you put this on this edge and it should slide right on down into this and it did my big ass hands probably in the way so. springs goes into the cup. You want the forks 
on the inside. Push the top down. She's in like flint. So now, for the reinstallation, make sure you don't twist up your hose because then the fluid won't go back how it's supposed to and you will definitely notice that when you're driving. Alright, now make sure your pins are out of the way. matter which one you start with first top or the bottom first whichever one okay now before I put it on the ratchet I'm gonna use the use the socket until it gets a little tougher it's an 82 for ratchet but Pitman arm. Yep. As you see, we got a lot of schmutch, a lot of junk on here. No stinks, no smells, anything like that. We don't want that. Now we're gonna take off our broken boards. <laughs> and we're done. So sometimes people get low on brakes and they'll wonder why their brake fluid lights on. Well, that's because it's all, come out here, your pistons open more. So it's taking more fluid in the calipers. So you get a brake light. So a lot of people will go and top off brake fluid and never look at the brake pads. Well, then they go and do the brake pads or they take it to a shop mechanic does brake pads. When they're pushing these cal these calipers, pushing the pistons back in, you'll get brake fluid on the floor or on the ground. If you notice that, don't panic. That's usually what that is. Uh, in which case, before you're done, hop up here and uh, check your check your brake brake fluid level. Uh, what I like to do is hop in uh, before you even start it. Just pump the brakes a few times. Uh, start it up. Hit the brakes a few more times. I put it in reverse. I back up, give it a hard stop, forwards, give it a hard stop, and usually you're pretty good. Sorry about the wind. So anyway, we'll throw the wheel back on and we're done. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Hope I didn't zip through or pass anything up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Like and subscribe, share. Uh, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. See you guys.